Hello, everyone. Welcome this evening to our Flourish Your Beauty Live. This is number 21. And tonight's Flourish Your Beauty Live will be about the five keys to transform through fierce gratitude. And we're going to touch on the first key. If you haven't had a chance to listen back to um, the last one that I did, this was more a preparation for it to kind of frame everything that we're doing. And tonight we're going to touch into uh, the claiming of your power where we're going to be doing an activation meditation. So as you're coming in, please go ahead and say hello and who's joining me and hi, hi, welcome to our time together. This feels really beautiful on a day like this to check in with everyone and see how you're doing. And um, Jane, hi. Oh, I'm so happy that you're joining me. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my friend. And uh, let me give a moment here to see who else is here and who wants to say hello. And uh, if you haven't given your StreamYard permission in my group to uh, be able to see your uh, name, then please go ahead and just let me know who's joining with your name so this way I can go ahead and see it. So um, today we're going to be touching on the first key of the keys that were downloaded to me several years ago. And these are the keys in order for us to even begin a gratitude practice that is sincere and honest and fierce. Because at this stage in the game, it anything lame <laughs> just doesn't work anymore. We are all in a moment in time now where it, we need to step it up it almost feels urgent in a way and it definitely feels like this quickening i know several of you also relate to this when i'm speaking of this where you're always like yes this is exactly what i'm feeling because we can all kind of feel how over the last several years and this goes right into these keys now and into the first key of our power where so much of our power has been given away to different sources to authorities to um energy that is not for our highest and for our best. And this is why this key has evolved over the years and is now one where it is so important for us to really understand our unique power within us and how we can be so much stronger within it because we all need to be because these are the times. And so for all of you, like I said, who are here live, please go ahead and say hello. And we're going to go ahead and get started here in a moment. So um, as you're coming in and as we're getting started, we're going to go ahead and light our candle. So if you have a candle, then please go ahead and uh, begin to light it now here. And this always sets the stage to let you know, hey, I'm doing something different now. This is kind of like this um, anchor that you're setting for yourself, this moment of recognition of saying, okay, now we're moving from one space into another. And we're always allowing that process of the fire on the match to complete as much as it can. And then you just simply shake it out and let it continue. Oh, hi, Brittany. Thank you for joining. And Jen, hey, oh, hi, my darling. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, oh, so happy to see you and so happy that you're making it. I'm going to make sure my mic is in a good spot. Okay, good, because I'm using the mic now for my podcast, which Jane is helping me with. So thank you, my beautiful friend Jane, for making this such a beautiful, seamless space together. And I'm going to go ahead and move my candle off to the side. And as always, since this is a activation meditation, what you want to do is go ahead and rub your hands together and then go ahead and clap. And then bring your hands together in front of you in a gasho position in front of your high heart, your soul center. And simply for a moment, ground in now, ground in to Mother Earth, ground in to the higher energy, higher frequencies, and begin the space of alignment with yourself. The more we do these, the easier it becomes. You'll notice that when you're doing this, the moment that you light your candle, the moment that you simply begin to bring your fingers together, this gasho is another trigger for you, where it just lets you know now we're centering in. 
first it's the coming together first it's that moment of okay now we're switching gears we're switching energy now it is okay now i'm grounding in here i'm i'm focusing now on the internal i'm now centering into myself into my beingness and i'm finding my quiet and my still point here right now so no matter what has gone on before or what will come after just remember the only thing that matters is right here right now and then bring your hands over that area of your high heart. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out, bringing yourself here into the present, knowing that you are the present for yourself. And as you are the present for yourself and you're elevating your energy, you are the present for everything and everyone around you. And with this, let's go ahead and do a couple of moments of four counts in breath. One, two, three, four. And then go ahead and hold. One, two, three, four. And then exhale for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then pause for four and let that stillness and that empty space fill in before you take another breath in again. One, two, three, four, in, and then pause. One, two, three, four. And then again, exhale for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let it all out with a sigh and just let it all go for a moment. Just let it all. Oh, that's right. And then pause and let that emptiness settle in for a moment. And feel that empty space and then take another breath in and continue this as long as you like recognizing that this breath is our breath of life this is our energy and it's the most important thing for us to honor especially in that space of claiming our power which is what we're getting into right now. So if you like to go ahead and close your eyes, if you haven't yet, I invite you to close your eyes and you can also set your hands down if you like or keep them in that area of your high heart for now. Eventually we're going to be placing our hands today on our solar plexus as that is that source of energy, of source of power for us. And so for a moment now, just find your balance and find your attunement to yourself. to your own energy of where you are today. When you're thinking of the word power, my own power, how strong does it feel? And sometimes when we're thinking of that word power, we have that misconception that there is some pushing and pulling to it. And that's not what it is at all. That power is an inner core strength that we develop over time when we distinguish what is right and what is wrong. And we distinguish what is right uniquely to us and what is wrong from the outside that doesn't reflect our true core, our true beliefs, our convictions. And this is the test that we have had over the last couple of years where either we gave our power away or we stood strongly within it and it made us even stronger. And there are always many nuances within the spectrum of it. Some of it we have control over and some we don't. And so this is that moment where you take control of your own power, of your own strength, and you declare it so. And you feel into your solar plexus now. And you can place your hands over your solar plexus if you like. And simply let them rest there. If you're tuned to Reiki, then simply send Reiki through your solar plexus and begin to tune into that energy that energy that usually will vibrate radiance to you it will vibrate in the beautiful colors of yellow of clean clear energy the energy of the sun of radiance ra so feel into it for a moment and feel how radiant that core, that energy center is. 
and feel how radiant it is in the front, in the back. Is it more pulled to the front? Is it more pulled to the back? And overall, where do you feel your power within this quiet strength in your core, in your center of simply standing so strongly within yourself that you're almost unshakable? This power also comes from a knowing and a trusting in divinity and in guidance as your strength is always connected to the higher frequencies and is always connected to the energy of Mother Earth for as long as you're here. It is connected almost through this cord of energy down to the core of Mother Earth. And it is connected up into the higher frequencies through your crown chakra out into um, this beautiful space of a much higher power, much higher energy that doesn't require any pushing and pulling. It simply is. It simply is in its strength. And that is what you're tapping into um, here and now. There's also um, within this power of yourself, this acceptance of all that you are and all of your nuances and being okay with wherever you are in the moment. This power comes when you first recognize everything that's going on and you're okay with the parts of you that don't necessarily feel aligned. And you also allow anything, any discrepancies to be there and to be okay. And to say, you know what, this doesn't feel right to me, but yet, I'm just going to allow it all in the moment because this is my true way of claiming my power. When I don't resist, I don't push against it, but I simply recognize it and I understand that there are shifts and changes within me and that I would like to take place in order for me to come back to my true center, to my true power again. Understanding that this is always a co-creative process and a feedback loop and that when you declare your preferences and you declare from a point of being okay with all of the nuances and being okay with all of your feelings and all of the complexities of your emotions and all of the complexities of your thoughts without pushing against anything. This is where you return to your center, to return to your true power, return to the strength of your solar plexus that gives you so much core energy and strength, where it simply grounds you into your ground of beingness. And it connects you to all that is in this unshakable way. So feel into it now. Where does your power reside? Where have you given away power? Is there any power for you to take back from different sources, from people, from circumstances? from feelings that you carry. Sometimes there are even feelings of guilt or shame that we tend to hold on to that deplete our power because as long as we're not in the full acceptance of ourselves and our own feelings and acknowledging that it's okay to be in all of it, also acknowledging that it's okay to not be okay with certain situations and things in the beginning because again, this defines us and refines us. But being in an acceptance of ourselves and our own feelings within it. And then claiming your space and claiming your power back. And if you still have your hands over your solar plexus, you may want to put them down or leave them there, whatever feels comfortable for you. You may also feel the warmth now building in your solar plexus. And so just keep breathing into this area now. Just take a couple of deep breaths in and out and tell yourself, I now here declare that I fully claim my unique power within me, knowing that this comes from a higher source. This comes from my true nature. 
of how I strongly stand in the world and how I project my energy out into the world. Feeling into that quiet strength that is more subtle. It doesn't necessarily require boldness, it can, but it doesn't necessarily have to be big and bold. Sometimes the more silent powers are much stronger than anything else. And sometimes it requires us to be very brave and very bold. Again, feeling into the uniqueness of who you are, your own unique blueprint within that. And without fighting and resisting, simply let it all be here now. Lay it all down right now here. And say, I am allowing myself to bring all of my power back to me. I'm allowing my solar plexus to be strengthened. And those beautiful, bright yellows to be bright and light. And then send those yellows now out from your solar plexus and make it brighter and lighter and more beautiful and let it radiate out and make it amazing for yourself as you now can go ahead and bring your hands like a W out, sending more blessings now into um, the palms of your hands feeling maybe even a tingling or maybe even a weight in your hands as you send this energy out from your solar plexus. And then if you can, if you want to raise your hands up to the sky in a power position. And if you have the opportunity to stand, you can also stand with this too and declare yourself within your own unique blueprint, within your unique power. And then again, just send that wave out now of your energy, your frequency, your power into your aura, into your field as far as it will carry and as wide as it will go. And every time that you come back to this and do this again, send it out even stronger and watch it go even wider and even brighter because you know and you understand that when you are in your power, you empower others as well. And this is the most important thing in these times and in the times to come, that you are solid within yourself. So you can be the support and lead for others and you can be the example for yourself and for everyone around you. And then let that settle in for a moment. Let it come back to you. Feel it even stronger now within your solar plexus. Let it land, let it be there, let it ground in. Remembering all the power that you may have forgotten or have given away and remembering that you have a right to your strength and to your power. And then just breathe that in and out for a moment as we come back here to the room, back to the space. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Welcome back. And if you have time, let it settle in for a moment before you close the session down. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and extinguish the candle with the snuffer, giving thanks to this energy, to the solar energy, to this energy of the candle, to the fire. And I'll give you um, all a moment here if you want to share how this was for you. And if there are any resistances that you felt, if there's anything specific that came up for you. Sometimes when we do this, that's when we even notice for the first time that there might have been some resistance. There might have been something that we were pushing against, something where it felt challenging maybe to see, to feel, to sense. And the more that you do this, the more it becomes natural and the more you are attuned to yourself 
into your unique frequency. And that's where that magic really begins. So coming back to this many times is super helpful for you. Okay. Oh my goodness, wow, that's amazing, Jane. Wow, wow. Mm, let me see if there's anything else from any of you before we close the session. So first of all, thank you ladies so much for joining me, for being here with me. It's it's such an honor. And it's so beautiful to be here on this day and to spend it here with you. And my friend Chen, I will see you in Reiki 2 this weekend and I can't wait. I'm so, so excited. Shane, I will talk to you, of course, with the podcast and Brittany, if you're still here, hi, let us know how this was for you. Can't wait to hear from you. And then for any of you, of course, who are watching the replay, then please go ahead and say replay and let me know what came up for you. I always love to hear from you. And I always come back to these and touch base here. So ladies, with this, I wish you an amazing evening. Remember today is the 27th. This is a day of activations, of completions all at the same time. And it is such a beautiful number and it is such a high frequency number. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And for all of you who will be watching the replay, again, I'll be looking out for this. And for all of you who are live, if there's anything else you still want to share, I'll come back to it for sure. Thank you for being here with me. It is all of us doing this together that is the most vibrant and most important thing because we've got to step it up here right now because nothing else is more important. Let me read yours here before I close. I came because my heart was feeling up to it tonight. Oh, good. But Facebook keeps, oh my goodness, oh, 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 good, 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 oh, oh, thank you, Chen, for being here, it means so much, it does, No, oh, have a beautiful rest of your evening, all you amazing, amazing ladies, remember your power, remember how powerful, how beautiful you are, and continue to step into that true space of your beingness, because it is all about the embodiment of that balance between the masculine and the feminine, and especially within these times of activating the sacred feminine, this is where our true power lies. And it is so important, not just for women, for men, for all of us, and especially for us women raising these beautiful boys as well, and the girls, for them to understand their power and for them to remain within that space and to not forget. Have an amazing rest of your evening. Namaste.